got it. So um, today I'm just going to be doing a haul video. I've actually got my new tripod. Woo! So you get a better view of everything that I'm doing. So first of all, I brought everything that I'm going to show you today from Crafty Charlie, which is a store that is in the UK. Um, it's like UK based, and they help the UK crafters because obviously we don't have many places in the UK that we can get stuff from. They sort of help us with the um, issue of getting like stuff from Lawnfawn or them sort of more exclusively to America sort of brands which are harder to get here. So yeah and um, plus if you spend over £40 and you're in the UK they do free shipping which you know I'm always going to spend over £40 it's just it's inevitable. <laughs> always free shipping yay! So to start off with, I'm going to show you all the new embossing folders I brought. This first one is this lovely, lovely one. You can see me in the reflection. There you go. Get it out for you. This is my first time getting them out as well. So you're lucky. This is Couture creations I think how you pronounce it there you go it's all these starbursts and I just think it's absolutely stunning and it's got this little slot here so you can slide smaller pieces through it so it's a strip instead of having the whole thing that's that one This, this from Sussex, and it's just this tree one here and this striped one. I'll get them out. So this is the tree one. And that's a striped. I just think they're absolutely beautiful and if you used them say this one with like a um, uh, brown distress ink so like one of the say vintage photo or with, um, walnut stain I think that would look quite nice but this one again from Sizzix and it's also um, Tim Holtz I think I've pronounced his name right there I'm no good with names I'll just get one of these out they basically do debossed like statements, um, sentiments even, not statements. <laughs> okay, oh, this is the hello. See this side instead. It's really pretty. And I'll probably be using these in quite a few of my um, maker card videos, so you'll get to see them pretty soon. Again, this is Sizzix and Tim Holtz. I won't get all of these out just because of um, time length on the video. Yeah. This one is just Sizzix. And it's just got little birds across on a little line. And then banners, which I thought would be amazing for um, an invitation card. So if you've got like, um, say my daughter's first birthday is, is coming up in September. So I'll probably be making the invitations using that. <laughs> and this one from Sizzix. Again, I'm not going to be getting them all out just because of timing issues. And then this one is Sizzix and Tim Holtz again. It's just a wood grain. Again, walnut stain or vintage photo with that. Um, would look, you know, covering the embossing folder and then putting it through you. Um, die cutting and embossing machine so I've got the big shot or if you use the vagabond and these actually come with a list of compatible machines so there's all the compatible machines so if you've got one of them you can use these and obviously they're my big shot <laughs> so that is all my embossing folders that I bought I bought quite a few of them because I'm just stocking up basically because if, like I said, I'm, I'm quite new. I don't have much stuff, so I'm just putting 
some away so I don't lose them. <laughs> so I like to, when I buy, which I buy normally monthly, I buy new things, I will do one of these haul videos to show you. And I've got to say Crafty Charlie has quite a, a large range of items. So if you are in the UK, I'd, I'd check it out because they are really good. Okay, next um, I will show you, I brought this square punch, it's just the, if you want to find the size, there you go, 5 8. it's just a square and I'm just going to be using it to use it to like cut the edges of a banner because, again I've said I'm hopeless. <laughs> then I brought these dies, I've got this bow one from Creative Expressions. It's called, did you find the name? Th Classic 3D Itty Biddy Bows. <laughs> and it just basically, you can create them bows using it and it's just, it helps with all the fuss of, you know, cutting bows and stuff. It's just, cut it with a die, it's easier. <laughs> Got this from Lawn Fawn. And this is the stitched scallop borders. It leaves a little stitched embed line. And they're just absolutely beautiful and just helps finish the card off. I then brought both of these from Technique Tuesday. And you can do, probably be using these pretty soon on a card. So I will show you how to use these when I do it. Because to explain how to use them verbally just you need to really see how they are used and then lastly for my dies I brought this alphabet die that's from my favourite things I can't remember what the name of this one is let me try and find it <laughs> um, no can't see the name but it's just their, their alphabet That's all the dies I brought. Now I also got this is one of my pricier spends. It's the We Are Memory Keepers card punch, and it does a three by four inch um, card. Get it out. Just get this out. always seems to be when you're on camera things don't want to collaborate <laughs> start coming out we go that's what it looks like and this bit just comes off and I will actually show you how this works just think yes piece of scrap paper yeah. piece of scrap paper all you literally do is lay it down so say you've got an image in the center that will clip on because it's magnetic you line it up so that that image is in the center there and this little flap just opens up so you can get the image and then you literally just you just come out of punch down and then that comes out and you've got a little and you can buy these where it rounds the corner but I, I just think I can round them myself and if I don't want them rounded then it helps sort of thing and if you can round yourself it saves you time and you just pull this bit off and you got even little holes in this bit that's how that's used <laughs> and obviously you just get the little scraps scraps out and it's a very strong magnet I mean and it just locks itself in place you can push it down push it right down and then flip this little switch it's easier said than done when you're doing it like this but there. and then it locks it down so it can't be punched or pulled apart 
can't come off now. So that's that. I won't even try and get that back in its box. <laughs> and then my stamps. I've got this one. I'll zoom in again. Focus. It's not focusing on this one. I'll try another one. <laughs> See if I can get it to focus with a different one. There we go. It's focused on this one. So yeah. That one. My, one of my favourite brands I tend to have a lot of their stuff and it's just these little pretty patterns you've got a border I just think it's beautiful that one okay. we'll try with the one we originally tried go there we go and the little tiny tiny sentiments and that's probably why it wasn't focusing but I just I love the butterflies on it I'm a bit butterfly obsessed, <laughs> if I'm honest. Got this stamp, it says big things often have small beginnings. There. And that says life is better when you're you're laughing. And they're just really tiny little stamps that on camera you're not gonna see that well. But in real life it's just they are beautiful. This one, which is wedding related. So I've got some family members that are currently engaged so they will be used when time comes and they are married. Again, he and she, Mr and Mrs. It's really pretty stamps. These are all from that same company. And these, I love that one. Use black ink and then clear and boss over that and it will look amazing. Again, some little butterflies. And then the last item I'm going to show you is this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And this is the Clark's ABCs. And recently I was asked to do a custom card for someone and they wanted names written on, but the stamp I had with just letters didn't really match the card design, but she was happy with it, so it was all right. But I brought these now so I'm prepared if I ever asked again I've got these ready because this sort of lettering seems to just go with mainly any card you use I find anyway and I'm going to be buying some more of the um, ABCs from Lawn Fawn so I've got a stock up of them all so anyway yeah that's all of the stuff I brought this month um, obviously now I've got my tripod so more videos will be up close like this so you can see better um so yeah thanks for watching but please like and subscribe there'll be a little link in the top top corner to click and it'll take you straight to the page and subscribe you straight away so thank you so much for watching bye